everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Lakeade here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new game pass that came into Dinosaur Arcade, which is basically a new update. I'm going to show you guys how to play as Fish AI, which is basically ocean creators and stuff like that. Uh, basically doing a little bit of a gameplay as well, playing as these little guys. And also talking about the future for more of these critters, like the land ones, for example, and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. It's a bit of gameplay and also some information put down on Dinosaur Arcade. Bit late to this because I've been so busy. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. We are close to 12,000 subscribers. It's very appreciated. Make sure to also like this video. Let's see if we can get this to maybe uh, 200 likes, if that's possible. And also join the stuff in the description below, like my social medias and etc. And with that said, let's get right into it. So first of all, this update came out just now a while ago, and basically this is a, uh, it's basically a game pass, yes. It cost, let's see here, 150 Robux to basically buy this game pass, which lets you play as AI that is in the ocean. Now there will be in the future ones for the critters that are on land, um, for example, like I guess the AI, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Uh, but there is different game passes that will come out for different creatures. As of right now, it's the AI, like the fish, for example. And I'll show you guys how to basically play as them and get the game pass. So when you join in, you're going to go to characters if you have this game pass. Actually, let me show you guys how to get the game pass first. So first of all, I'm pretty sure you can go to the store. No, it does not work here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how to get it. So if you go to the main page of Dinosaur Arcade on Roblox, you go to the store, and as you can see, it says Underwater Critters. It will be 150 Robux, and if you click on it, of course, you can see um, this game allows you to play with multiple underwater creatures, um, which is basically all the fish that live in the water. Now, maybe in the future, it'll be other than fish. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but that's basically how you get this item, and then once you do, you can go into the game and play as it. So in the game, what you want to do is go to characters. Now you're probably going to be a dinosaur if you don't have the uh, game pass, like if you're not played as any of the fish yet. At first I was like, where do I find this? Because if you scroll down, they're not there. It says game pass at the bottom. And if you uh, click that, basically, you will see all this. Now it will say unlock. You can unlock all these for free if you have the game pass. Now in the future, when there's more critters, it, it says um, unlock and you don't have the game pass. It'll probably tell you, hey, you don't have the game pass. Now, I'm pretty sure these do have skins, as you can see here. We have, for this guy, a skin. Let's see if the one I was playing, it also does have a skin too. I'm actually going to buy that, just to see. Oh, it's like an angel-like. That's so cool. Now, does it have any pads? You could also customize these guys. So, uh, for example, you can make this guy red. Let's actually make it... Yes, I like that color. Um, let me just customize this real quick. So here we go, I customize it, now I just unlock these because I don't have much of the colors and I want to show you guys the customization. So yes, you could customize these AI as a game pass. It basically works as a dinosaur, except it's game pass for the AI. I don't know why it goes sideways when you go to hit play, but once you hit play, then you basically just spawn in as this guy. Um, I haven't played as the, I think it's a baby. No, it's the same thing, so if it's like a different skin, it'll be the same. It looks really cool. Now there is these little circles in the middle, so... If you look on the map, it says P, that's like basically the, as you can see it says Plankton Feeding Grounds. This is basically where you can eat as a fish. I think any type of fish it works for. It's kind of like a huge circle when you go near it, as you can see, and when you go through it, you kind of just automatically eat. You don't need to do anything other than really move around if it's going to actually eat any of this. Will you eat this? Oh, it disappeared. I didn't know it disappeared. Okay, so it's over here now. Um, so I'm guessing these do rotate, uh, the plankton feeding stuff. So it that's pretty cool that it does actually rotate. Um, and you basically just go in here, as you can see, automatically eat, and it goes to 100. Now the thirst, I don't think we do any of that because it's underground, I mean underwater. Now my favorite thing to do as the AI is do this, just jump out the water like this. You basically fly. It's it's cool. It's really cool. I really do like this game pass. I think it's definitely worth buying for 150 Robux to buy as like underwater creatures. I don't think you can unlock these guys other than the game pass um, by using Robux and stuff. So uh, it's kind of sucks if you guys can't do that, but I don't think there's any other way necessarily to unlock these guys. You can also complete tasks with these guys. Now this one has survived one day, which kind of sucks, but you can complete the task. 
uh, which is like basically eating, uh, finding things, blinking, etc. Uh, it's basically the exact same as the dinosaur, so you can do tasks as well, so you don't have to worry about not being able to do tasks, um, which, you know, is kind of neat that they actually did that. I wouldn't really want to play as AI and not have tasks so I can get uh, the DNA and everything. So I'm kind of curious if I can actually create a nest. Uh, let's see. Just make sure you're on solid ground before attempting to place a nest. Let's actually see if I can do this before dying. Um, let's see. Oh gosh, that's a little far. Ooh. Oh great, I'm stuck on the water. Also, I do have moisture. Oh, I placed the nest. Oh, that's great. I'm going to spawn back in there. So I'm going to go ahead before I do and just, oops, leave so I don't have to worry. There you go. See, if you have moisture, you die. Oh, you can jump as well to get into the uh, ocean again, as you can see. Oh, shoot. Kind of stuck. There we go. I made it. I didn't die. Okay, that's good. So you can get onto the land with this guy and you kind of just flop around. It's a little bit of a struggle to get back in, which is reasonable, you know. Uh, that's pretty neat though. It does take your stamina up as well. Kind of like flop out of the water as well. Now some of the game paths actually do have a oxygen level, as you can see. This one has a big one. Uh, it also does have a ton of moisture as well, which is pretty neat. So there's some that don't have to worry about oxygen um, and just like the moisturization. Uh, but some of them do have to, have to worry about oxygen, which I think is really cool. Um, why is this fish so close to the water? I don't know why he's so close to the water. Um, oh, there's a person right there. Oh, that's nice. You know what's also very funny is it kind of glitches when you go up here. So, but, uh, let me just... Can I swim, please? Oh my gosh, this long fish, I swear. I could just... Okay, it didn't do it this time. Oh wait, this guy can actually crawl? That is so cool. Let's see if I can actually do it. Hold up. I did it just a minute ago. No. Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Shoot. Okay, I gotta get in the water again. Well, I got a ton of moisturization, so I am good. No, I am not real. I am a fake Lakeate, okay? But I'm gonna keep trying to get that glitch, which I kind of fling myself- Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I went too far. Um, can I get back, please? It always does it off camera, but when I'm on camera, it doesn't even want to. Also, I still don't have the mammoth. I had the fossil and it just disappeared, maybe, because it took too long. There you go, it kind of did it. It would basically just fling you back into the water. It's kind of hilarious, but this guy is pretty neat. You can go into water and- Oh, gosh. Okay. Kind of does it down there as well. You can also eat the seaweed down here as a fish, which is nice. Um, I don't. Th I can't eat this. I can. So you can also eat these. Oh, look at the animation! How he just like eats it sitting up like that. That's so cute. This guy kind of looks like an ant. Uh, not angler fish. Um, what are they called? I don't remember what they called. Was that a raptor sound? I, you guys couldn't hear it because I don't have the sound in the background. Also, can I attack these guys? Will they attack me back? Also, I haven't seen any of these type of fish as AI. I wonder if some of them don't spawn. So it'd be easy if these guys would not move. Okay. Oh, I can attack them. Will you attack me back is the question though. It doesn't seem like you'll attack me back. Fling. That's my favorite part about being this. I could just fling myself out of the ocean. Yeah, this guy's more so of a water creature, not so much of a land creature. Kind of like the lungfish. I don't know why the pumpkins are still here, they're kind of huge. Yeah, as you can see, we complete the task as well. I wonder if these guys have roars. Not really. They're kind of just bubbles, which kind of sucks. A little disappointed, but I mean, they're really good actually for a game pass. now. I know there's been ideas like this where they would make AI kind of like a game pass so people can play it, but I feel like they pulled it off really well. They kind of put the time into making it so they don't really necessarily have to worry. Um, you know, I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, oh, who's that? Oh, 
I'm actually surprised people actually notice me in the chat when I don't have anything like saying I'm a YouTuber. But yeah, that's basically it. Oh my gosh, I just caught that in video. That's so cool. Um, but anyway, this is it kind of for the video. It's kind of just a basic run through since I didn't really do one on it. I think this is a really cool game pass. Definitely worth buying if you are thinking about it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I might make some videos surviving as some of these guys or something like that. I'm unsure about that, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!